Hello and welcome. My name is Mark, and in this video, we will go through the Cloud Portal's IFS, or Info Federation Services, to one login's identity provider, SKIM setup and configuration. This will include configuring the SKIM service and agent on both the Infor Cloud Suite and OneLogin's identity provider. Businesses may want to integrate with the OneLogin identity provider and use the SKIM or System for Cross-Domain Identity Management interface to automate and maintain user provisioning with their corporate sign-on credentials to the Cloud Suite. Here's a diagram showing the high-level architecture of what will take place. Configuring the SKIM service and agent on the Infor Cloud Identity Provider with the Corporate Data Center's One Login Identity Provider. Let's start by configuring the SKIM service on the Cloud Identity Provider. Open a browser and navigate to the Infor Cloud portal. Log on to the portal with an admin Cloud Identity account. Once in the Cloud portal, if the OS application is not displayed, select the OS application from the navigation menu. On the OS application page, click on the security tab on the top of the page, or you can also select the security card located on the main page. This will bring you to the user management screen. If you do not have the security tab or card displayed, you will need the IFS Application Admin and Portal Content Administrator security roles assigned to your user account. You will need to enable the SKIM service feature on the tenant. In the Users menu selector, expand Security Administration and then expand Settings. Select the General Settings link. Under Manage Features, check the Enable SKIM Service checkbox and click Save. Note, once SKIM is configured, you do not want the Cloud Identity email notifications to be distributed. Users will use one login's authentication to log in. To disable this option, in General Settings, expand Email Settings and uncheck the Send Email to New Users Automatically when New Users are added checkbox and click Save. Click Yes on the confirmation window. Refresh the browser page. Under the Users menu selector, expand Manage and select SKIM Accounts. Click the plus sign to create a SKIM service account. Enter a SKIM password and confirm password. Enter a password based on the policy requirements shown on the page. Click the Save button. Then click Yes on the warning window. Note, this password should be saved in a secure location and may have to be used for troubleshooting the SKIM connection in the future. A user identifier will be generated for the SKIM account. Make sure to slide the field box to the right so the entire value can be viewed. You will need the following SKIM information from the Cloud Suite to generate the SKIM agent connection in one login. You need the V2 endpoint or URL, the user identifier, and the password. You are now ready to create the SKIM agent in one login. Access the one login portal as an admin. Once in the one login portal, under the Applications tab, select Applications, then select the Infor Cloud Suite application you configured for the Federation. If you have not performed the Federation, and need assistance, you can view the Cloud SAML Federation to One Login Identity Provider video. In the Configuration section, scroll to the API Connections section and paste the SKIM v2 endpoint URL from the Cloud Portal into the SKIM v2 endpoint URL field in One Login. Remove the trailing slash from the endpoint URL value. Scroll down and right-click the Generate a Basic Auth header link and select Open Link in a new tab. You will need to convert the custom header to Basic Authorization. Access the Generate a Basic Auth header website. Supply the user identifier value into the username field and supply the skim password into the password field. 
click the Generate Header button. Copy the generated header and paste it into the One Login Custom Headers section. Click the Enable button to turn on and test the API connection. Click the Save button. If not already done, you will need to add users to the One Login application that you want to grant access to the cloud portal. Under the Users tab, select Users. Select a user you want to grant access to. Select Applications under the user. Click the plus sign button and select the Infra Cloud Suite application from the application drop-down list. Click Continue. Then click Save. Click the Save User button in the upper right-hand corner. Go back into the Cloud Suite application. Under the Applications tab, select Applications, then select the Cloud Suite application. Select the Provisioning section and check the Enable Provisioning box. Click the Save button. Under the Parameters section, configure mappings for any optional parameters required for your skim publishing. Navigate to the Users section and click on the user assigned from the previous steps. Click the Approve button. Allow a minute or so to pass as the user gets provisioned and a successful green check mark is displayed. Return to the Cloud Portal and access users under the Manage section. Validate that your One Login account has been provisioned via the Skim interface and the attributes and skim mappings look OK. Drill down into user details by clicking the drill down icon and click the activity tab. You will see that skim has created the user account. This concludes this presentation of the Identity and Access Management Cloud Portal skim setup and configuration to the One Login Identity Provider. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to get notified when new videos are available.